little bit about our story of why we decided to come to Legacy is um, we started about a year ago. Some friends of ours were wanting to move to a CCRC, and we said, okay for them, but, you know, we're not ready yet. We're nowhere near ready. So we visited one and visited another, and we were very unimpressed with what we saw, aging infrastructure, old buildings, you know, small units, et cetera. And, but we did start also talking about um, whether or not this was the right lifestyle for us and when that would be. And we soon came to realize that that was coming sooner rather than later. I guess my initial reaction to, to thinking about a CCRC and, and legacy in particular was uh, I'm not ready for an old folks home. Uh, <laughs> and we're still not. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and, that, and that's the point. Um, as we learn more about legacy and more about other facilities and realized uh, that someday we're going to need extra help for sure. And uh, there's, for nice places, there's long waiting lists and you can't wait around until you really need extra help. Um, but I had to get past that part of not being ready. But as we learned more about legacy and the intent of legacy and, and the active lifestyle that legacy uh, plan to develop and will develop. Uh, and that began to fit with, with my vision of where I need to be in the near future. I want the security of knowing that healthcare is there and can be available, but I'm not ready to give up an active lifestyle and my friends and all the activities and amenities that we enjoy now. I'll never forget the first time I came here, and I just stopped and I looked and I said, wow, you know, this is in the country, it's in the rolling hillsides, it's going to fit in with nature, which is what we love and uh, the values that we hold dear. And then when we realized, oh, and it's going to be a pool, we don't even have a pool now, oh, and there's going to be, you know, state-of-the-art performing center, oh, and there's going to be a movie theater, Oh, and the tiny room is going to be on the fourth floor, so you can see all around the the beautiful mountains around here. It just we got so excited that it was not like, do we need to think about it? It was where do I put my money? <laughs> <laughs> and now Connie's bringing ten of her closest friends from where we live. <laughs> so, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the other thing um, that kind of made really made sense to me was getting in early uh, before before the facilities are, are all built here because that gave us a chance to pick out the kind of home we wanted uh, the location the layout uh, which is huge uh, and then as the facilities as our apartments being built we'll get to pick out the interior features um, countertops and flooring and um, you know paint colors and all that kind of stuff so it's going to be our home uh, and not somebody else's home that we'll be moving into, which is really a big part of the, the whole thing for us. We, we don't want to feel like we're giving up a nice home and moving into somebody else's old folks' home. Being an early adopter, so to speak, um, a founding member of the Guild, that's one of the big advantages of that, plus the added assistance for moving in um, and we haven't even mentioned the equity model yet, so we've come a long way because <laughs> that was actually one of the main things that attracted us. Why give away a good part of your equity never to see it again, your heirs never to see it again, or a charitable organization you wish to donate it to, when you could keep that equity and do with it as you wanted through the rest of your life. Call our sales center to set up your private tour today and learn more.